वेलकम 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 व्यूअर्स वेलकम त्रिशा आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी आर डूइंग अ लाइव एंड लेट्स गेट स्ट्रेट इन टू द टॉपिक टुडे व्हेन एवर लाइक टिल यस्टरडे इवनिंग लाइक इवनिंग इन द एट द एंड ऑफ द फिफ्थ डेज प्ले ऑफिशियली फिफ्थ डेज प्ले ऑफ वर्ल्ड टेस्ट चैंपियनशिप फाइनल द परसेंटेज ऑफ चांस ऑफ ड्रॉ वाज ह्यूज and today when the match finished new zealand won the match with quite a few number of overs were left at that point of time even when the match day 6 the play of the day 6 started people were still uh, very irritated about the fact that why can't icc had planned it better and all that this match won't uh, result in a outright win and all those things but one day of good sunshine one full days of play and things have gone haywire for india now true we all know we all know that india had a long quarantine in mumbai and then a long quarantine in southampton mm. uh they didn't play practice matches only a intra squad game and all those challenges were there but something must have gone very wrong for this kind of a result to happen on a day when everybody expected a draw and this is very concerning because it's the sixth icc tournament on the trot that india have either lost in the semi finals or in the finals the last time they won a tournament was actually on this day only it's it was the 2013 champion, champions trophy final so what went wrong for, do you think for uh, for india trisha you can batting बैटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिंगेटिं
is double in australia Absolutely. when the ball stops to swing you can hit through the line you can pull and you can do your stuff yes if you okay. take your risk you will find a way out which rishabh pant did but in england the problem is again like that he edged the ball he could have been caught that was the easiest catch which which saudi dropped yeah in sport there are could have should have would have and all these things but there must be a way out to tackle this kind of swing this kind of bowling seam movement which is happening if Can you I go on hitting if you go on hitting out of your way you might succeed in australia or maybe in south africa but in england you will edge one ball you will top edge one ball and you will get out and the point when he got out already ravindra jadeja was out so it was only ravichandran ashwin even ravichandra ashwin edged a ball which was really wide of the off stump it was a it was and a he did very that when he was playing and he did that uh, last time also when he was playing superb like in the first innings ashwin ashwin was actually playing superb Mm. and mm. he edged the ball for no apparent reason now now that we are talking sorry yeah mm. please come in now that we are talking about the batters who couldn't uh, rather the tail enders who couldn't stick around it's very easy to say things in the hindsight or to question things in the hindsight but uh, would you have gone in with uh, shardul thakur in place of um, jadeja or someone like uh, yeah jadeja only or uh, maybe ashwin no 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 ashwin definitely not jadeja also you know what or go no just on the basis of one match like yes i know jadeja in this match as we were discussing right um absolutely had no impact neither with the bat nothing much with the bat um although i must uh, mention this because see not everything is negative i believe every negative has a bit of positive the phase that he that jadeja batted when wagner was bowling this short pitch line he batted mm-hmm. really well it was just one mistake and again i'm not taking uh, like i'm not giving excuses for him but he was batting well yeah so yeah credit to the bowler also absolutely and bowling i don't think he did any good any justice to the bowling uh but if you ask me 10 out of 10 i'll go with this combination i wouldn't change a single person not even ishant i know everybody was saying probably siraj siraj in mm-hmm. in place of ishant i'll mm-hmm. tell you why not siraj in place of ishant all the more if this was the match situation even with the ball swinging remember your batters have only given you 217 and mm-hmm. 170 which ideally is 139 to play with Correct. you basically in the whole match you just had about 350 odd runs to play with it's not easy as a bowler definitely definitely not easy and uh, here i come to the next question is that uh, we have talked about rahane the way he threw away his wicket after getting settled in both innings innings 1 and 2 what about rohit sharma because again you were the one who was saying that rohit sharma is getting those starts and is failing to convert like in both innings the same thing happened what about rohit sharma <laughs> okay so i have this uh, uh, theory about rohit sharma right um, and rohit sharma fans highly are going to abuse me but i'll tell you what happens so rohit sharma is an attacking player correct okay. now when he's coming on uh, i mean generally if you see he gets out in 30s right so 30s is when you expect a batter to be settled especially an opener because for an opener to score 30 you have played enough balls you have played out the new ball which he has done which he has done in both the innings he did it very well but the moment he reaches 30 somehow i feel psychologically he feels okay i'm set now and i should cut loose a little more or maybe he thinks i have played the new ball enough now i should cut loose a little more and that psychology is the reason that uh, rohit is not consistent uh, like rohit, rohit is consistently getting out in 30s otherwise there is no reason if you tell me there is a technical flaw no this is the way rohit bats if you tell me that he is not a test opener no he is perf- doing well the only thing is for a test opener 
um i remember i don't remember which batter but uh, you know there was some legendary batter who used to say every over i used to think i'm starting from zero mm-hmm. and i used to play accordingly till probably i re- reached somewhere uh, around 100 and this is for wickets like the england ones even australia mm-hmm. you think of it rohit has not got out cheaply other than probably one or two innings cheaply as in in single digit or just 10 12 it's always 30s 40s where he is losing it and then uh, what about what about someone like cheteshwar pujara had a great australia tour not this one only even back to back very very uh, promising australia tour where australian bowlers couldn't even get him out but in england we have seen uh, cheteshwar pujara struggling with the moving ball it again happened he did take up a lot of deliveries but when you take up deliveries and then don't score in the first innings for example he got his first runs uh, on in the 36th ball and then he got out for eight in the second innings also yeah he was being set up by the bowler but he left his bat hanging he neither went for a shot neither he defended he just left his bat hanging and these are the batters who are very important for india you have to perform in these kind of games and it's it's been a long time that cheteshwar pujara has got a 100 in england also his performance is not that great and he has been having these problems against moving ball what about cheteshwar pujara well cheteshwar pujara has to start performing i mean um, in england i understand uh, but you know there's one point in which i'll disagree with you the mm-hmm. point is when you say that uh, he didn't score for the first 18 balls i don't think that affects pujara with the mindset he has rather it affects the non striker more you know mm-hmm. because uh, that person gets bogged down which happened even in the women's test uh, you know punam raut was playing dots from the other end uh, someone like a smriti got affected and started to uh, and tried to cut loose and got out at the wrong time so mm-hmm. uh, that is there other than that uh, i think with pujara i don't know i i don't think he's not good enough for anything he's he's perfectly fine all he needs to probably do is look a little more like you know initially try and rotate the strike not because of his strike mm-hmm. rate but mm-hmm. what eventually happens if you get stuck at one end then you are ideally allowing uh the england bowlers or any country's bowlers for that matter to um get to you to bowl to you at the same oh. length and also it happens you know that for example if one end is pujara one end is kohli then a bowler a particular bowler right. is bowling to a particular batsman for around five continuous overs like the same thing happened with rohit sharma rohit sharma faced the first ball of kyle jemison in his sixth over kyle jemison sixth over he faced him for the first time it, it it becomes easier for the bowler also they get accustomed to the bat in that sense now after cheteshwar pujara we have to come to virat kohli there's a certain thing about virat kohli the thing is in the past in the recent past on difficult pitches pitches we have seen him uh, uh, for example the, at the end of the day he has bat brilliantly he has stayed on the wicket ended the day on a perfect note and the next morning he gets out after doing the hard work see when i'm talking about virat kohli my light is also uh, going off <laughs> at times after doing the hard work virat kohli is failing to convert those starts it it's been almost 600 days that he has not scored a century that's okay if, even in england if you score 70 or see Uh, Williamson scored a 50 and a 40, and he has still won the game. Virat Kohli scored a very good 40 odd in the first innings, but he is failing to get that 40 to a 70, which is very unlike Virat Kohli. Um, see, today the second innings wicket was absolutely the Jimmy Anderson one. Uh, you know, it's it's the old demons come. Uh, With Jemison, I think um, there is a very interesting point because Jemison is very tall, mm-hmm. so his release point, you know, give uh, his release point becomes obviously uh, for a shorter bowler, the release point will be different, and for a taller bowler, it will be different. 
so the so that is where probably the reading becomes a bit of a problem that is why jemison is causing trouble and for virat kohli the way he got out in the first innings that is the shot he always plays right so i think um, but, i wouldn't say but, he chokes important occasions no but i think in the first innings him see it people will get out if everybody yeah. can negate every ball then uh, everybody will score 100 on every day but even in the first innings both in both innings the bowlers got the better of him by bowling by setting him up mostly because it it was not like he was playing and missing deliveries on a consistent basis outside the off stump but because for example in the first innings uh, i think saudi got him no jameson only no, no, got him jameson both jameson yeah the most of the balls were going out going out and then suddenly one ball came in in the second innings everything was coming in and then one ball left him a little bit and was had that bounce also and he edged it so again like when virat kohli cheteshwar pujara these people for example don't score those big runs india will get into trouble especially because of the fact that we don't have a tail our bowlers don't bat and our batters don't bowl that's the biggest problem india has because you don't have a part time option also but talking about the tail enders did indian bowlers get it wrong on one aspect that when they got new zealand to seven down when they got mm. seven wickets did they give away 30 to 35 runs uh, more 30 to 35 yeah. more than 40 runs they gave yeah, like, more than 40 runs like i'm giving them up by jamison hanging around and hitting you for sixes you cannot justify it correct honestly where were your yorkers where were your you didn't mix up short ball yorker slower ball mm-hmm. see for tail enders let's understand one thing the bowlers have to always think like it's t20 because tail enders are not going to defend you they are anyway going mm-hmm. to look to hit you so okay. why not get in there also i think i think uh, virat kohli got a little carried away because le, le, uh, you know virat kohli is a very how do i put it play loving captain and this is true i mean you can call him aggressive you can call him whatever but the truth is if any of his players are anywhere near to a milestone he will always get that bowler back and i thought instead of shami he should have got bumrah in the first innings and ask bumrah to bowl like he bowls in a super over or in the last two two overs of a t20 game think of it when bumrah came out to bat remember the Jam- jamison delivery mm. Correct. I think it was Jamison or was it Saudi? Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, Jamison only. He got it full uh, and into the stump. Jamison or was it full? Yes, it was, no, no, yeah, not full. It was full. Uh, it was full. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that is what, how it should be. It should be full, right? Correct. So again, so, and uh, yeah, 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 go, go. yeah. So my point is, when the Indian, so as a bowler, I have already faced it. Say for example, why do uh, you know? At one point, if you remember, there was a joke that uh, bowlers keep bowling bouncers to each other because that is what they face. Like when I come out, if I am a bowler, and if you are my opponent, when I come out to bat, you will be bowling me bouncers. Automatically, when you come out to bat, I will be bowling you bouncers. But that that doesn't happen. Bumra got a yorker, but he didn't bowl anything of that sort. Yeah. So uh, this is done and dusted. Uh, there have been flaws, and it has all come down to the batting only. Because see, one seventy in England, you need to score at least two fifty. Let's be very honest. Uh, no, don't say one seventy, na Baba. It's one thirty nine. It might. It is one seventy, but it's actually one thirty nine. No, yeah so for example if you had scored even 210 also then this match would have either ended in a draw or india would have won the game because the time would have also uh, been spent on the crease but in england you can't afford to, for example in england yeah okay it's okay if you score if you don't end up scoring 300 but you need to hit at least 230 240 on a consistent basis that's the uh, bare minimum you need to do as the batting team you can't afford these kind of collapses when you don't have batters uh, till the end of your uh, batting lineup like you don't have original all-rounders also in the team 
and uh, the indian series is coming up a new uh, wbc circle will start india has to do a lot with their batting i hope they get some practice games and all those things but they uh, have a long time no today the match ends they have tomorrow they have a lot of time to go back to the blackboard or drawing board whatever people keep calling but you know uh, before we before we try to conclude mm-hmm. i just wanted to say one thing i know it's difficult to lose a world cup uh, you know it is it is uh, it was a world cup final sort of right mm-hmm. uh, because it was the world test championship final and i have seen a number of people have written that uh, because uh, that new zealand won and they deserve to win i agree uh, they deserve to win because on these two days or three mm-hmm. and a half days they were the better side they mm-hmm. said that do not give any knee jerk reactions it's okay it was just a match it hurts it hurts and as a uh, as an indian i am also hurting orgo is also hurting but don't give such a big knee jerk reaction because remember the players are also hurt, uh, like hurting they are also not winning the trophy right and it is a question say for example let me tell you uh, in the england series i believe chiteshwar pujara and ajinkya rahane will be under tremendous tremendous mm-hmm. pressure to perform same goes for shubman gill correct because there is a mayank agarwal who is standing right behind uh, and there is no reason why mayank cannot be tried again no but but i would say shubman gill is in a be- still in a better position because pujara and rahane do not even have age on their side so if they do not perform in the first second test uh, i don't know in sir pujara or rahani you can bring in vihari as an you option can. you have vihari correct and in sir of pujara pujara rahani if you can play someone like washington someone like shardul that gives you mm. uh, you know depth in bowling as well correct that's a good point but again it's all about the batting because again we we had talked about the bowling that indian bowlers will somehow manage yeah they were not getting the lens right in the first 20 30 odd overs of the first innings but gradually as the innings progressed shami came into his own ishan the bowled well everybody got their task done bumra may be a little bit off color but the bowlers will be doing well in england they will be restricting the opposition to 240 250 it's up it's, it's up to the batters to score 270 250 260 on a consistent basis that's the bare minimum again in england india has not won a series since 2007 a big series is coming up maybe this england team is the weakest team that they will face uh, in the recent times maybe can i give because... you an interesting stat sorry mm. can i give you an mm. interesting stat <clears throat> so since 2016 that is last four four years right indian team in the sena countries has mm. played uh, 19 matches 37 mm. innings which is 37 innings and now i'll tell you about the totals why am i blaming it on the batters between 200 to 249 six totals i mean six innings 250 to 300 five above 300 11 innings out of which three innings have been 350 plus so you realize the team is not scoring enough runs in 37 mm-hmm. innings if you have six totals which is more, between 200 to 249 extremely poor extremely extremely poor so yeah correct so i think this, we this should have something with, which we need yeah. to improve and which we should uh, look at because i mean there is no reason the backing order is not bad mm-hmm. at times i don't <laughs> understand at times i feel you know probably there at times in patches there is lack of intens- there lack of patience and in patches there is over intensity you know there is something called enthu cutlet we say no suddenly indian players become all enthu cutlet that they have to score runs and you are done ghat 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 four five wickets gone 
Pant did well today. Pant was playing well, mind you. Pant was playing well. He was reverse, reverse hitting those New Zealand bowlers. I mean, he he is crazy. But by the way, in this match, I realized one thing. Mohammad Shami is and this. Uh, before concluding, I will tell this. Mohammad Shami is a Ranbir Kapoor fan. Why? Are okay? What oh. was Ranbir Kapoor's debut movie? Sabari. <laughs> what was the song? The Tabal song. Jab se tere ne. And Mohammad Shami, after bowling a fantastic spell and taking so many wickets, was actually you know wrapping a towel and standing as if the moment there's a break, he will you know just open the towel and start dancing. Jab se tere ne. Oh. Right, so I wanted to end the show on a high because, come on guys, it's okay. We have lost a match. It's sad, but let's not go hunky-dory and keep blaming the players. Uh, let's be human, be nice, be, passion- be compassionate towards each other. And let me tell you, finally, a very good news is Orgo has taken his vaccination. His first dose, of course. And it's a national news, so I had to announce it here. You guys also go and take your uh, vaccination. Stay safe. Stay home as much as you can. And you know how how you can make your um, staying home entertaining? By subscribing to Sports Addiction. So subscribe quickly. Take care. Bye-bye.